I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best bunkhouse Super C motorhomes in the entire RV industry. This is the 2024 Thor Pasadena Model 38BX. We are going to be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're going to give you three things we love about the Thor Pasadena and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited because we're taking a look at this awesome Thor Pasadena, but I'm really excited because we're taking a look at it at a super special place. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everyone! How's it going? It's going great, you guys. I'm so excited. We are here at the brand new store. Where's that? We are in Fort Pierce, uh, Port St. Lucie. Yes! It's brand new, so we'll put the address down below. Um, congratulations to the winner of the bobblehead. It will be here. And also, you guys, make sure you pay attention to the whole video because we will say the phrase that pays. So make sure you hashtag that in the comments below. If you guys haven't won a bobblehead, there will be another chance this video. Without further ado, Andrea, let's begin. Model is Thor Pasadena 38BK. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 39 feet 10 inches. This is the Thor Pasadena. It's built on a Freightliner S2 RV chassis. Now the S2 RV chassis is different from the M2 chassis. This is specifically designed for RVers. You get more of a slouch right here. So when you're driving through your campsite, it's easier to see. It does have the Cummins, 360 horsepower engine, 800 pound feet of torque. Badass awesome in America right here. I love this bumper right here. And then it's easy to open and close, unlike the M2, that's gonna be a lot heavier hood. And then to slash it all up, you just go like that. And then look at these tires, Dre, they're the Bridgestones. I love those. 295-75 R22.5 with the shiny AccuRide rims. Coming on down here, we do have mirrors on both sides. And then look at this beautiful painted seamless fiberglass front cap. It has an awesome front windshield there. And notice how there's no seams in the bunk over the cab. It's one molded piece. Coming on down, we do have our cameras right here. Left side, right side. Frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome and an armless awning. Now you guys see how the arms are that way and they're not hanging on down the side of the motorhome. That means it's an armless awning. So if the wind blows too hard, it's gonna automatically retract the awning back in. And then coming on down, we have these very nice aluminum slam latch doors. Good pass through storage. Yes, ma'am. More storage here. Very nice. And then right here is going to be our fresh water tank. Very nice. Really good size fresh water tank. And then here we have an insignia TV on the outside. Right over here, Andrea, if you take a look down, you will see that that has the Thor emblem right there. That's actually a place for you to leash up your furry friends. Over here, we have some awesome storage. Love these aluminum slam latch doors. Love the storage on here. Onan 8000 diesel generator there. And then here, a little bit more storage. And a propane quick connect if you want to have a grill. On the outside. Yes. Coming around the back, we do have a 12,000 pound hitch. I lied. A 15,000 pound hitch. <laughs> now, I'm not saying you can tow all 15,000 pounds. I know you're good with 10 or 12,000 pounds. Any more than that, you must know before you tow. Nice fiberglass rear cap and a backup camera there. And also a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. Guys, we're almost there. I'm slimming out, Andrea. You're doing a great job. Thank you. And we're almost climbing back up on the roofs, maybe like a month away. Maybe a month Maybe away. sooner. Maybe, I don't know about all that. Right here we do have nice storage on the other side. Other side of storage. Here's your propane tank. Very nice. And then right here is where you fill up your fuel. Yes. And Miss Jen. Oh. Please Ding. put all the descriptions right there for us. Don't tell Jen what to do. <laughs> I'm not. She knows what I mean. Right there, 50 amp power cord with an electric reel. All right, wrapping up the outside. 
coming on down. Good right water here. bay. Oh, yes, ma'am. I mean water bay. What's it called? Yes. <laughs> Sorry guys, Thanksgiving got Fresh to me. Fresh water fill, outdoor shower. Yes. And guys, wet bay, wet bay. Wet bay. Speaking of Thanksgiving, my mom only lives an hour away from this store. So we will be frequent, frequently visiting. Fre frequently visiting this store. Nice instant hot tankless water heater with the paint. Look at all those batteries. Lots of batteries, Andrea. Very nice. That's a battery bank. Yes. And we will be at the West Palm Beach show as well now. Check that out. Really good storage. And then let's finish up with the chassis cap. Oh, look what's right there, Andrea. <laughs> the phrase that pays. Hashtag, guys, comment down below. If you could have any chassis in the world, would you have the F53 Class A chassis, the S2 RV suit, uh, Freightliner chassis, the Chevy chassis, the International chassis. Um, is there an M1? Uh, the M2 oh, chassis. Yeah. A Spartan chassis. What's your favorite chassis on a motorhome? Hashtag it bobblehead. We are going to select a winner tomorrow at 6.45 p.m. We're going to comment on the winner, and we will announce the winner of tonight's bobblehead on tomorrow's video. And if you guys haven't won a bobblehead yet, watch every video because we're giving at least one away every day. And Matt, we forgot to mention that is where your DEF is, right yes. here. And you know what, Andre? I'm going to say it now. Uh, video two days from now, we're going to do a Nexus Triumph. We're going to give away two bobbleheads to celebrate the new store. That's awesome. Well, Andre, at the outside of the Pasadena looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Matt, you don't skip here. I, 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 <laughs> I can skip in here. All right. We need the cargo carrying capacity. All right. All right, so uh, I'm gonna walk through here, as you can see with the slide in. There's plenty of walkway, definitely doable, and no, you won't be in the way. I'll go back through here, and it's a good walkway. It opens up a lot right here. You can definitely open the fridge. I am walking through. Here is the bathroom, and you can see the bunks right here. And then here is the master bedroom, which looks like it has a tilt-a-bed. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so while we get these slide-outs out, let's take a moment to thank our sponsors. Are you stealing all of my lines today? <laughs> Guys, I am in my brand new Delta travel trailer. And RVMatches.com, a Brooklyn betting company, makes the absolute best mattresses in the RV industry. When I went on their website, all I did was click this style of mattress that I wanted, which I selected the Aurora because it's the best one, it's the thickest one, and it's the most comfortable. I selected that I have a 60 by 80 queen size bed, and then they shipped it to my house. Guys, RVMattress.com, their factory's based in Arizona. They ship it straight to my house. It was super easy to install in my travel trailer and it comes with a 120 night sleep child guarantee. Guys, if you need a new match for your RV, use promo code MAP for 25% off. But not only that, they have pillows, sheets, and weighted blankets. And what I loved about using this blanket was that it kept me cozy, but also didn't suffocate me. So I was able to get the air conditioning on top of me. Guys, if you need a new match for your RV, Go to rvmatch.com backslash Matt. Let's continue the video. All right, Andre, we got the side outs out and we have some people joining us today. Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Hello. Why don't you introduce yourself and what you'll be doing at General? My name's Donnie Miner. I'm the new sales agent here at Fort Pierce, Florida. Yep. I'm Will. I am one of the new DSs here at Fort Pierce. Perfect. I'm Janet. I am also one of the DS's here. Perfect. And DS is going to be delivery specialist. So if you guys buy this RV, one, you'd be buying it from him. And then two, who's going to be showing it to you would be one of them two. And how tall are you? I'm approximately six foot three. Okay. So we're going to need you a little bit in the shower. So, uh, but Andrea, we're starting up front here. And let me be the first to say welcome to the team, y'all. Yes. Thank you. So who's from Fort Pierce? I am third generation. Tell us a good restaurant or tell the audience if they come here. Right next door, Dale's Barbecue. Is it good? It's perfect. It's perfect. amazing. So if you guys come on, tell the sales managers here that if you buy an RV here, tell the sales managers <laughs> to pay for uh, Dale's Barbecue. Absolutely. Perfect. Andre, we're getting started right up front here. This is the Freightliner. 
Cummins, 360 horsepower, air, air seats. It's just one of the best driving Super C's on the planet. We have the Allison 3000 transmission, air brakes. Here's where we can control our windows and everything. Right here, we do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. This is where our radio is. We also have cup holders here. And then, Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? It's very comfortable. Yes. You know, I say it every time in one of these. Every time I get in one, I just want to take off. Yes. And then Don? Or yes, Donnie? Yes, sir. Well, is it Don or Donnie? It's Donnie. Donnie? Do you know what the best part about having a Freightliner motorhome is? Tell me. Freight. It's the air horn! <laughs> When somebody cuts you off, you let them know that you mean business. That's right. Andrea, come on out. And not only that, there's a lot of places that service freight liners. Yes. And then we do have a bunk under the cab. Do you know how much that holds, Andrea? 800 pounds. 800 pounds in the bunk over the cab. Not only that, it has a front windshield, which... They always put the buttons in a different place. And this is going to be your most frustrating part about your job, is always finding these buttons. There yes. we go. Because there it goes. Just like that with the push of a button, the shade's coming up. Just so you guys know, the manufacturers, they like to change the <laughs> placements of the buttons. I've been doing this for six years, and it's always a pain in the butt to try to find. But very nice bunk over the cab here, holds 800 pounds. You do have this blue LED light and curtains for a little bit of privacy. Right over here, we have theater seats. How do they feel? Very comfortable. Good, good. They got cup holders here. Little bit of storage, if you don't mind opening that up. Let's see. Just Perfect. Like that. Thank and you. And then if you both can recline those seats for us. Man, this is nice not having to do all that. I those. know. <laughs> yep, it's a little stiff. Yep. Just there like that. And then, yep, you got to kind of maneuver your butt. Yep, just like that. It's Brand a new, new motorhome. yes. It's a new motorhome, a little stiff. Perfect. Over here, we do have storage above. Really nice cabinetry. Sound system there. And then check out these valances. <laughs> Andrea. Approved! Bing! Very nice. And then over here, we do have a dinette. How does this feel? This is comfortable, roomy. Perfect. Good leg room. Tons of leg space, oversized table. Thor always does a good job with that. Cup holders right here. If you guys wanna learn more about Thor, you can scan that QR code. Cup holders right here, sound system and the TV. Now the TV was directly across from the theater seats. We do have nice windows. And do you see that artwork behind you? <laughs> do you know what we call that? Art deco. <laughs> no. Uh, it's not Art Deco. And it does look like a, like a white alligator skin. Really nice windows all the way around. No daytime shades, but there is these slow rise privacy shades right here. We got storage underneath on both sides. Very good. Cool. Don't you love that when it's new? There you there go. You know. And then another storage right there. There's also a car seat tether right there. And then Andrea, show us this kitchen. Okay, here uh, we have a nice cabinet here with adjustable shelf. Very pretty here as well. Solid surface countertop. Very pretty. And then under here. Hey, yay! that's a $176 trash can. That's a big trash can too. And then over here, looks like we got some drawers. And then, oh, soft clothes. Very wow, nice. very nice. Down here is a bigger drawer. Yes. And then uh, the contour convection microwave. Okay. Two burner propane cooktop, one burner induction. How do you like the backsplash? I like that they did it all the way around. Beautiful. Under here, more storage. And then we've got a drawer down here. Yes, ma'am. Behind you is the residential Whirlpool refrigerator. Yes. Good size. Hang on a second. Runs off your inverter. Yes. And uh, ice and maker and water purifier. Yes. That's very nice right and there. look. Look at this. Nice pantry. Yes, ma'am. Tons of space. I actually love how they're giving you a pantry space and the big residential yes. fr fridge freezer. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP. It's weird with an audience. But I guess we always have an audience in a way. <laughs> but we can't make any edits in front of them, Andrea. 
MSRP on this motorhome here is $346,028. Andrea, MSRP. At General RV Nationwide, we sell this 26% off to a sale price of $256,995. Andrea, that is a phenomenal price. But guess what, Andrea? We're with General RV. And if you guys are interested in getting the best price in America, I know we can get you an even better price than that. All you have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from Matt's RV Reviews or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us and a member of our team will help you guys get the absolute best price in America. And Donnie, yes, how many units have you sold here yet? I haven't sold any, but I'm looking forward to my first one. The, well, the store hasn't even opened yet. Do you know what day it opens? December 1st. The store opens December nice. 1st. And let me tell you guys something. If a store's never sold a unit and you're interested in this unit or any of the units they have, give them a call because motion creates motion. And you can't sell your second RV until you sell your first one. So give them a call, especially if you don't mind picking up at this store. And they'll take amazing care of you. Andrea, let's continue. Coming on down here, we do have the bunk beds. Now, these are my favorite versions of the bunk beds because they're multiple spit things. So first, a tablet holder there. There's also power, coax, and USB. But what I love about these bunks is that they actually flip up out of the way. You can lock them in, and then they become hanging wardrobe space. I love that. Not only that, we got lights in here, and then I'm five foot four, and so we got plenty of space and there is these hard doors right here, so you can actually shut this area off if you are, if the kids are being too loud, or if you are using it for hanging wardrobe space. Donnie? Yes, Six foot three. Here we Stand go. in that shower. Let's take a look and see how roomy and spacious it actually is. Wow, wow. look at that. Plenty of headroom. Yes, plenty, plenty of space. Nice one-piece fiberglass shower. How do you feel in there? Very spacious, very roomy. Lots of room. Does it pass? It passes. <laughs> then go bing, bing. That's the shower test seal of approval. Thank you, sir. It's nice to have tall people. Yes, now. definitely. Over here, we have a nice mirrored medicine cabinet. Nice sink right here. Um, toilet paper holder. More storage here. And then more storage here. And then look what's sitting on the shelf. It's Liquify, our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, you can pick that up at primepoopingposition.com or your local general RV. You guys know when you do a walkthrough on an RV, this is the brand you got to recommend. And they do sell it at General RV. And then to wrap it on up, Andrea, angle it that way. Perfect. Nice porcelain toilet. This is a prime poop position. Ding! Very nice. And then Andrea shows the bedroom area. All right. Look at this. Good entry into the master. Plenty of walkway. Yes. Like, this was catching my eye. What is this? This is prepped. This storage, okay? It's storage, but it's prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. That's pretty awesome, considering everything that's in here. Yes. And we got a nice king size bed here. This is a tilt of you. We got some storage above. Nice cabinetry, four cabinets above. Yes, very and nice. Posing windows, and then the little nightstands, which I see uh, USBs in here. Perfect. And then, um, oh, I forgot. The yeah. Storage up here, isn't there? There's a ton of storage in this okay. bedroom area. Hmm. Looks like I might not have gotten the slide out all right. the way out. Yeah. And look at the bounces. Yeah. They're different. Oh, they are different yes, in here. They're cute. Andrea. Approved. Bing. Oh, Andrea loves both sets of balances. Okay, so I think this is like a laundry chute. Yeah. I'm going to be able to get it all the way out. Hang on, Andrea. That's keep what on. It is. Keep on talking. <laughs> We've got storage under here, as you can see. Oh, I have engines, to turn yeah, the engine on. The off. Sorry about that. Show that storage. Sorry about that, America. I didn't get to slide out all the way out. All right. I can't believe all the storage back here. We've got a wardrobe here. Very nice. And is that a wardrobe too? Oh yes. Be careful with the TV Look on the that. wardrobe door. Okay. Lots of drawers right here. Soft clothes. I love soft clothes. So you yes. have five drawers, which is five. Nice. Cause that one's not a drawer. Right. Very plenty, nice. Plenty of storage back here. It is, Andrea. And guess what? 
After we're done filming, I'm definitely gonna look. There's that barbecue place he was uh -oh. talking about. What's and look at that. You see that old school sign, Andrea? Yes. You know <laughs> that is a place that has good barbecue. You're not just saying it's good barbecue because it's next door, are you? Absolutely not. You know the owner? It is Danny Atkins. See, no, nah, he he has some insider trading. You must know the guy or something. <laughs> He's just been around for years. There you go. A Fort Pierce legend. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Oh, wait, before, I do want to point this out. This is your uh, control panel. Here's where you can control your awnings, your slide outs, auto gen start, all your light controls, your dual air conditioning in the front and in the rear, in the fans, and your slide outs. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody goes, it's time to give people three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Um, let's do three things we dislike about it first. First on the outside. Andrea, dislike number one for me, 50 amp power cord, not on an electric reel. This is an expensive motorhome. It's a super C motorhome. It's diesel. I want a 50 amp power cord reel. That's dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? I got mixed feelings about this. I do love how the TV is on the door because that makes a lot of sense. Yes. That way you get huge storage and on the door. But here's what I will say. Okay, you know what? They do. They did do a good job bracing this. I just feel this door, and I just feel it being a little flimsy or whatever, and I'm just wondering how that's going to hold up over time. I'm not saying this TV's going to fall, but, you know, it's... I don't like it being on the door. You know what I'm saying when I say that? Like, I do like the concept, but I don't like that. Yes. That's this like number two. And then, Andrea, what's this like number three? You know, this is hard for me. The, what I'll say, and this is just, you know, I'm nitpicking right now. Talk that, to me. The tilt of your bed. Mm. You know? I, yeah. I like, for me personally, I like my bed to be accessible, even with the slide in. Okay. Um, but that's me picking because I can't really find a lot that I dislike about it right well, now. Well, you know what, Andrea? I'm going to compliment and discompliment my number one like. So, uh, dislike, to combo a dislike... It's very crowded in here. And don't get me wrong. I didn't get the slide out all the way out. But there's a lot of storage going on in here. And it's very crowded. And don't get me wrong. I do love the large amounts of storage. But that with the tilt-up bed just kind of shrinks it. But now it's time for three things we love about it. And Andre, number one has to be how much storage is in yes. here. The storage is fantastic. Especially with it being a bunkhouse motorhome. Especially if you don't have kids. This unit just works well for everybody because, again, you can use it as hanging wardrobe space and have a lot of other space. That's like number one. Andrea, what's like number two? I'm going to say I, I'm going to combo mine because I like the fact that you can get a stack of a washer and dryer. Yes. And you have the residential refrigerator. And? And a pantry. A pantry right? at that. Most of the time, it's all, it's an all-in-one combo or something. You don't get both. And, Andrea, to, com to triple combo that... To get all of that with the bunk beds. You know what I'm saying? You'll see a lot of these features a lot in, you know, a bath and a half unit right. or a couple's unit. But to see all these features jam-packed, that's really awesome. And then who wants to give us a like number three? Tell us something that you just like about this motorhome. I like the colors of it. Talk yes. to me. It's very comfortable. Okay. Um, especially for camping. It just seems to go with the exterior out there with camping. Perfect. And being a tall guy, I love the height of the shower not only Very that spacious. the height of the whole rv yes everything yep and then another like the kitchen itself there's plenty of space you got the residential fridge you got the pantry and just being able to get two people side by side in there and still have plenty of space to move around guys good point you heard it here first that is the all new thor pasadena 38 bx at our all new fort pierce Port St. Lucie area store. Again, Jen, please put the address right here. If you guys are interested in coming to the store, shopping around, or buying an RV, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash, fill out the contact form. That's going to take you to a member of my team, and they'll hook you up with the Port with the uh, Fort Pier store, and that way we'll make sure that you guys get the absolute best price in America. Again, we are giving away a bobblehead. We already told you how to win this episode. We will announce the winner of tonight's episode tomorrow. We have all the previous winners in our YouTube description below. And if you haven't won a bobblehead yet, make sure you watch tomorrow's video yes. for another chance to win. 
Andrea. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Thor does read the comments, they do watch the videos, so please leave your feedback. Don't forget to uh, hashtag the bobblehead underneath. And we hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.